Ja, 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 Every once in a while, there is an animal rescue case that makes your blood boil, that has the potential to go international, to be future in the big networks. This is one of those cases. Yesterday, my friend Maggie Sharawi contacted me from Lebanon. She told me that they've just rescued a lion calf. Apparently, some moron bought this calf, this lion calf, to be featured in TikTok videos. They started making TikTok videos. People got really enraged, but then, Everything became much worse when the lion cub escaped and the press announced that there was a big lion on the run. What happened then is absolutely heartbreaking. Have a look at this, listen to Maggie herself. On March 8th at 7.25, I received a very distressing video. A video that showed this helpless cub with a tape around his mouth and a whole crowd around him trying to take selfies with him while some of them are pulling on his ears. I was sick that day, but seeing that video just filled me up with rage and anger and all I wanted to do was just to get there as soon as possible and save this poor cop. Seeing him so motionless in the hand of so many people and knowing how fragile they are just broke my heart to pieces. Within minutes of receiving the video, I had picked up the phone and called the Minister of Agriculture and begged him to help us confiscate the cup with him and bring him to us so we can care for him. As well, I called the judge the general of the, the general prosecutor in the north and urge him to do the same. All the relevant authorities were very cooperative and within half an hour we had permission from the judge to go get the cup. <laughs> <laughs> as soon as I arrived to the police station, um, we actually were welcomed by um, the captain who was in charge of the case and the ministry vet, Dr. Ala Khali, was already present and they had already kindly removed the tape off of his mouth. That was already a big relief. However, the cop was still stressed out because the room was full of people and they were trying to do a thorough checkup on him to ensure that he's healthy enough to be handed over to Animals Lebanon and to ensure that they document the state we received him. As soon as the checkup was over, the cop was uh, put in the safe transport crate and loaded into the animal's Lebanon car and I had to stay at the police station and ensure that the police report is finalized. To wrap up the case, uh, I had to commit to caring for the cop until a final decision came out from the courts.
Caring for such animals is a lot of cost. We have to ensure that they get the proper diet. We have to ensure that we have the specialized veterinary care, which doesn't exist in the country. And we have to ensure that we follow up thoroughly on the legal case to prevent this from happening again with other cubs. In view of the situation in the region, Animals Lebanon is already suffering. We're suffering. Three years ago, we lost all of our savings at the bank when the economic crash hit us in 2019. Then after that, we had the Beirut explosion, the near nuclear explosion, which left us all devastated, um, broken spirits. Most of the people left the country. Our adoption rate went down. Uh, we can no longer do fundraising events. The injured animal rate has went up because there's more abandoned animals. So imagine being in that situation. It's total helplessness. We have no savings. We're fundraising daily, barely to cover our daily expenses. We have animals in our care. There's no adoption. And the level of abuse is on the rise. We need you. We really need you. Help us get this cub to safety. We need to send him to a sanctuary in South Africa. And to do so, we need to raise at least $10,000. Please help us get him to safety. Please help us show him that the world is still okay and that there are people like me and you who can actually care for them. I've been sitting daily with him since we got him to ensure he can trust again. When he first came to us, he was very traumatized. He actually shut down and all he did, he slept. Today is the first day where we actually see him moving around. Uh, as you can see, that he has lots of toys. It's enrichment. We've been keeping him in this uh, cage for a bit until he feels safer before he gets out to a bigger enclosure. And this is just temporary until he goes to a proper sanctuary in South Africa where he would get lots of land, other lions to see and hear. And this can only happen with your support. I really believe animals have no nationalities and animal rescues must help each other. There's a link at the bottom. It's the donation link for Animals Lebanon. Please help them. Also, please share this video Let's make this go global, international. Let's help this lion cap get a new life in a sanctuary in South Africa. Please donate and share this video. Thanks a lot.